Hey YouTube, have you ever had something happen to you in your life and then immediately after God like tells you what was going on, God uses a situation to bring more clarity of what's going on in your life. You see that happened to me the other day. The other day I woke up and couldn't find my glasses. And now I don't know about you if you have glasses or if you don't, but I can tell you from experience at the moment it's very fun not wearing glasses. You see, I woke up and I had my glasses somewhere. I thought I had it somewhere and I seemed to have lost it. I didn't have work that day so I was like, you know what, I'll find my glasses later. It's perfectly fine. Now, I don't really need it now. And in the first hour my eyes began to adjust to the reality that was around me I mean, it was still blurry as it is right now. I still can't see everything, but I was seeing enough to get by. And then the second hour, same thing, still blurry, could see enough to get by. And then the third hour hit. And when the third hour hit, that's where the headache began. And the headache just got worse and worse, even through the fourth hour, until I found my glasses and I put them on. And after that, God showed me what was going on through that situation. You see, our glasses, the way we see, the way we perceive life, is the same way of staying in His Word. You see, when we stay in His Word, we perceive life differently. And when we're out of His Word, we can't perceive life the way God has intended it to be. You see, when we first lose our glasses, when we first step out of the Word, you notice it. You're like, oh, I should probably find them immediately, but then you're like, you know what? It's okay. You stop becoming numb to that feeling. And then days go by, and hours go by, and weeks go by. And you're like, <laughs> you know, I don't really need it. I could see. I mean, I can't really see clearly at the moment, but you know, I could see. And life gets blurry. I mean, you can still see right from wrong, but the line in between kind of gets blurry, and it's easy to fall off from the right path. And then later on, for me, with my glasses, it was the third and fourth hour, the headache begins. You see, the headache is represented by your flesh coming back. And so the headache is your flesh. Your flesh comes back and sin starts entering your life. And the sin, you can't seem to figure out how to get rid of it. I couldn't get rid of my headache until I put on my glasses. And the glasses were important. Because immediately when I put it on, I didn't get relief immediately. I wish it was, but the headache was still there. The headache went away eventually. I mean, it took a couple minutes, and then it went away. And it's the same way with life. I mean, when we're dealing with sin and we're out of His Word and we get into His Word, God convicts us of our sin. And we repent. And we stay away from it. And sometimes those thoughts come into our mind, but they're so easy to repel. And then sometimes we get into a sin that it's very difficult. And it, it, it's hard and we open the Bible and God convicts us of this sin, but the sin, for instance, an addiction. Let's say it's an addiction to smoking. My grandfather had this problem. And he had a problem with smoking and drinking. And when he became a, became a Christian, God immediately stopped his drinking, but the smoking, it took longer to stop. You see, sometimes it's harder to stop certain things than others. Sometimes a headache stays longer than it should. And so I'm gonna read you a couple verses that spoke out to me when I was writing this. When you have that headache and you can't seem to get rid of it, when you have that sin and you can't seem to get out of it, here's John 16, 33. These things I have spoken to you so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have tribulation, but take courage, I have overcome this world. Give me a second, let me put on my glasses, it might take it easier for me to read the Bible. Another verse is uh, Philippians 4.13. It 
See, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That verse is taken out of context so many times, but it's literally referring to that you could overcome this world because Christ strengthens you. See, when we lose our glasses, we have to put them on. We have to have our glasses on to see the world clearly. We have to stay in the world and able to see our path clearly. In John 8, 31, it says, So Jesus, saying these things to the Jews who had believed him, said, If you continue in my word, then you are truly my disciples, and I and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. But we have to stay in this in the world. In Psalms 119, it's amazing, amazing Psalms. If you ever have a time, just read throughout the whole Psalm 119. And in verse 9 it says, How can a young man keep his mind pure by keeping it according to your word? With all my heart I have sought you. Do not let me wander from your commandments. Your word I have treasured in my heart that I may not sin against you. You see, sometimes in life, life is busy. We get distracted easily and sometimes we don't put this as a priority. But I can guarantee you that it's not going to be easy. If you put this as a priority or if you don't, life is not going to be easy. But I will guarantee you that if you do put this as a priority, God will be with you constantly. He'll be with you through every step. And you don't have to work as hard because you have him on your side. God bless.